Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here at the UFL gym in Shanghai, China. With my assistant Shell right here. We had a question on YouTube about submissions from back mount besides the rear naked choke. Okay? Now, there are tons of ways to do a rear naked choke. You can do it with one arm, for example. But, you know, we've got other options too. If we trap this arm, if we start scooping down the body, we can start locking up back mount triangles. So back mount triangles are a powerful position. But one of my favorite things, usually you get somebody here. They'll start bucking, twisting, squirming. And when that happens, grab one of these. And now you got knee bars or just a very uncomfortable spladel, right? <laughs> or what else do you have? Bring one of these up. You got yourself a toe hold, right? Yeah. Let's go for an arm bar. Okay. I've got a seatbelt control here, head and arm. He's probably going to start hand fighting immediately. That means he wants to strip my hands off of his neck so he doesn't get choked. So I'm going to grab one of these arms. Get two hands over the top. Now I'll take this hand, grab my own wrist. Notice I moved this leg over here. I'm going to move my body over here. I'm going to move this arm over here. I'm going to move this leg over here. What do I have now? A nice position to arm bar from. So let's do that a little faster. Okay, I'm trying to choke him. He's trying to strip this grip. I switch my hands to a figure four. Switch my feet across the hip. This one, I pull it out from under his body. Pin the head. Pin the head here. Go for that arm bar finish. All right, one, one of the problems you're going to run in, into attempting a rear naked choke is this. There's a guy who's going to lower his head down and he's going to get his head under yours. That's a big deal because it makes it a lot harder to finish that choke. Scoot down. Yeah. So notice now his head is lower than mine. This is not optimal. I can get really annoying under that chin, but I'm not going to be able to sink in that perfect rear naked choke. And if I start reaching for it right now, he's got a bunch of space to strip that grip and slide out. So when this happens, now I'll start climbing the body into a back mount triangle. Now you can finish this if I drive the head forward, okay? Or if I grab one of these and you know pull his body forward into that. Now I, I can even turn this into you know something worse. Right? I've got the toe hold, I can turn that into a knee bar, I can arm bar this across my here. I've got a wrist lock right there. Okay. I've got a Kimura right here. Okay, I can arm bar this one, I can put this in a you know, Americana right there. Let's go back to the arm bar, All right? Clear the head. Notice this grip I have. This grip is very important. It's called a figure four wrist lock. So I've got his wrist, and I've got this. It's very important. I want to pin my leg, so I'll pull this over the head and get into this spider web position. And now from here, I've got this arm bar. If I've got his back, He's going to start moving. We're usually going to end up down here pretty quick. And sometimes I'll lose one of those hooks. So I'll switch to a back mount grapevine on a single leg. Why does this matter? So now I've got a whole different set of submissions. I've got the twister right there. Okay, it's a neck and spinal lock. What else? I've got, uh, what do we call that? Banana split. I've got calf cranks. And I can put it in reverse, do all those. Back to the rear naked choke here. Right. And then back up to that arm bar here. Okay. Another situation you're gonna come into is this one. Let's say I, just, I take back on from a turtle position. So he is He's up here, right? he's, on, he's on all fours, and he's sprawled, right? And I'm trying to wedge my, get my hooks in there, right? maybe I get one there. And now I'm back riding from here, okay? We can set up an arm bar from here. There are a few different ways to do it, but I'm gonna take my shin, okay, get it across his back, preferably get this arm here, roll, get this, and now bring this one over the head. I'll finish that arm bar. If I take the back from here, right, I'm back riding, okay? 
Maybe I'll do it on this side. Okay, I'll grab this one. I'll get this shin under there. I'm driving this head down as quick as I can. Slide this over. Proximity is more important than speed in that case. I got my hooks in. Right. Okay, I'm riding the back. Instead, I can go straight for a calf crank right here. So I'm working to get my hooks in. I keep one hook in there tight. Okay. Now, swing around here, and you'll notice I brought my shin right across the calf here. Now I can grab this, push that in, tear up the calf muscle. There's so many ways to stretch people out, submit them, kill them. It's ridiculous. But one thing about backbone you have to understand is you're not married to it. You don't have to be married to it. This is actually a really dangerous position I'm in. There was a fighter a few years back. He had this position in an MMA fight. The guy on the bottom buck, to your buck, his head went forward, boom, and he broke his neck, and he ended up paralyzed below the waist, or sorry, below the neck for life, right? Now, that's a precautionary tale. Here's how to ensure that that doesn't happen to you. You get here, right, get your head close, get a hook in somewhere on the upper body and sprawl him down flat. Once he's down flat, now buck all you want. As long as his hips are up in the air, now he's under control, okay? Now, one of the greatest options to end a fight right here has nothing to do with uh, fancy submissions, but rather pressure. I'm not allowed to strike the back of the head in an MMA fight. I have to strike the front of the head. So I'm gonna cross face from behind to expose the head, the face, boom, boom, I'll start hitting him. This arm gets in the way, that's okay. Boom, now he's gonna move it. Right? Now we're gonna cross face him this way. And then we'll start slamming him, boom. He's gonna move, cross face him that way, boom. Notice I'm still keeping his hips up. If he crawls back to the knees, trying to get out of here. Again, get some hooks on the upper body, boom, boom, boom. Expose the face. Notice now I'm cross facing from below, under the chin. I don't know if you can see that. So I slide this chin like I'm punching under the chin here. I can even grab that. Can you get your face back to the center? Can no. you protect your face from my fist? No. Not really. So at this point, yeah, you're gonna get an easy TKO right there. Yeah, he'll bring this up. But you know, people always say wrist locks don't work in MMA, but you can do them. You just have to know how. So there are a ton of ways to be really mean to the other guy. You got your arm bars, you got your back on triangles. And if you got a back on triangle, every arm lock, every wrist lock is available to you. If they start kicking up with the legs, toe holds, knee bars, splatles, uh, transition to the twister, do the whole twister series, calf cranks, neck cranks. Oh man, do you guys know about neck cranks? I made a whole video about this. Shall I apologize in advance? Okay, you're trying for a rear naked choke. He tucks his chin, right? He tucks his chin, he's hand fighting really well. All right, maybe he's got one of my hands. Okay, I just need one hand for this. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna punch across here. I'm gonna grab his shoulder, okay? That's with one hand. Two is even better. You probably remember K Khabib did this against, uh, what's his name? Uh, Conor McGregor. McGregor. Yeah, Conor McGregor. And everyone, some people said, oh, he's doing the choke wrong. <laughs> Except it wasn't a choke, it's a neck crank. Okay, we need to break the posture. That means spinal torsion. Make the guy look sideways. That's a weak sauce position. Gable grip, I'm framing against his shoulder there. So now I pull this back, push this one, into the chin, right, and I push his head forward. So, so my head, my shoulder is pushing his head forward in this direction, right? My hands are pulling his face back in this direction. So we're snapping the neck from two directions. It's like that Hollywood Ninja neck snap, but for real. And uh, yeah, a lot more painful and a lot more effective. Okay, so neck cranks, that stuff's all there. Have fun with that. Don't kill each other. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.